Another Genshin update, another drip marketing fiesto, folks. Yes, the characters for Genshin 5.2 have been officially announced. And yeah, as we all know by now, Shin Lennon's trailer like, just released like today. I won't be watching it though, because I kind of want to watch it like before I pull for her on Wednesday. But Hoyo also released the uh, 5.2 characters today as well, which we are going to have a look at here in a second. Before we begin seeing the drip marketing and whatnot, I would like to kindly ask you guys to hit that subscribe button, because I am trying to reach the goal of reaching 5k subscribers before the end of the year. And if that does happen, I will build my C6 Chi Chi to her maximum potential and uh, showcase it for all you guys to see. So yeah, if you want to see that happen, be sure you hit that sub button and also that like button while you're at it. But anyways, the drip market of characters have come out and the first one revealed is, of course, Chaska. Uh, no surprise here. I honestly kind of expected her like sooner or later. That's a huge uh, lore dump over here. If you just want to go ahead and just read that for yourselves, take a moment to pause if you want to read it. But yes, she is coming in 5.2 and I'm gonna guess she's a five star. They don't really reveal like what rarities these guys are until like much later on, but come on, <laughs> look at her design. That's a five star design if I've ever seen one. And yep, her vision is Animo, so she's going to be another, like, 5-star Animo character. Not too sure about her weapon, per se, but I feel like she might be a sword user. It, it She just kind of gives me the vibe that she might use a sword or a bow. Either one of the two. But yeah, Chaska is now confirmed for 5.2, and I gotta say, I kind of love the colors of her design right here. I just kind of wish she would fix up her face, because her face um, in-game doesn't really look the best. At least in my opinion. But yeah, still very, very much excited for, for Chaska, and uh, can't wait to see her soon in uh, 5.2. But that's not the only character reveal for Genshin 5.2, because we also have, yep, Auroron. I'm excited for him more. Yeah, look at his design, man. <laughs> I, I really love, like, that his like, little cloak looks like wings and everything. L look at this, man. Just look at him. I can't believe some people call his character design ugly. I find his character design super badass. And he's going to be Electro, which is not surprising, honestly. I mean, you can just tell just by his color scheme. But yeah, not sure if he's going to be 5-star or 4-star. I'm kind of hoping he might be a 5-star, but... At the same time, he could be a four star fall, you know, I'm not so sure. He's kind of giving me Mose vibes from Hawkeye Star Rail, if you played that game. And Mose is a four star, so who knows, maybe in turn Aurora might be a four star too, but somewhat hoping that's not the case. <laughs> Although, if he is a four star, then I'll still pull for him nonetheless, and I'll still build him. I kind of find it interesting that we're also getting him in 5.2, because isn't he meant to be on the Fatui side? <laughs> or however that shapes up to be? I guess we'll learn in the 5.2 story. But yeah, those are your two characters coming in Genshin 5.2, unless there's more that uh, they've yet to announce yet. Okay, so no. So Chaska and yeah, Auroran. Okay, there's no more. So yeah, confirmed. Auroran and Chaska officially confirmed for Genshin 5.2, which means we're going to have to wait a bit longer for Mafu Ika and Capitano whenever they, they become playable. Actually, come to think of it, like, yeah, there's a bunch of characters yet to be playable yet. There's also, um, because we still have a lot of Natalyn characters we still have yet to get yet, like, yeah, Mavu Ika, Capitano, Ian-san, uh, Sitlali, and probably a few more they're gonna introduce, like, in the upcoming updates. But either way, though, I will 100% try to be getting both of them when their banners do come out in 5.2. And yeah, that summarizes the characters that are drip marketed for Genshin 5.2. Are you guys going to be pulling for either of them? If so, let me know in the comments down below. But yeah, Nalan just keeps getting better and better. And uh, and here's hoping we win our 50-50s when 5.2 eventually comes out. But alrighty boys, that is going to end it for now for this uh, quick Genshin update regarding the 5.2 drip marketing. And also subscribe if you want to catch more videos or streams from me. And also while you're at it, be sure you drop a follow to my Twitch Let's Play channel. Where I play other game series like Yakuza and Persona, which are not Hoyo related. And where I just go to do my own thing. So yeah, drop me a follow there if you're interested in that. That'll do it for this quick update video, folks. Good luck to everyone pulling in 5.1, and also good luck to everybody who's pulling for Chaska or Auroran. Wish you guys the best of luck. But all right, that'll do it for me, folks. Take care of yourselves and have a good night, and I'll see you all again next time.